What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to place text in our project. So this will gonna be a very quick video. So as you can see here, we already learned how to add dimension to our project. So this time as part of the annotation, so we are going to learn how to add uh, text in our model. So what I'm gonna do is to start I'm going to zoom in to this area here and let us explore some of the options on how to create text. Okay, so to create text, you can go to the architecture or actually you can just simply find it here on your quick access toolbar or just go to the annotate and then you can find there the text or you can simply type TX as the shortcut. All right. So I'm going to select the text here on my quick access toolbar and then from the properties you can click the type selector here to see what the uh, what are the available text uh, textile in your project. So let's say one fourth inch Arial. So let's try this one. So I will select it and then before you place it you can check out here the leader panel wherein you can specify if you want to have uh, no leader, one segment, two segments, and curve. And then you can also specify here the justification of your uh, leader line. If you want to make it top left, middle left, bottom left, and same on the right side. And also the alignment here. So you have top align, middle align, bottom align, align right align center and align left okay so you can use this option so let's say i'll use here no leader with one fourth inch aerial so i'm gonna try it here to test out the text so let's say this is my test text okay and then i'm just gonna select this let's say i want this to be bold so i'm gonna select that and then i can make it bold here and then I can also make it italic. I can also make it underline. Okay. And then you can also use this subscript. So let's say you want to put a subscript. So let's try this out. Okay. So I'm going to click outside. So as you can see, the text is still activated. So there's my text tool with no leader. So let us try this one out. So I'm going to pick here then I'm gonna test again and then I'll try the uh, subscript so to do that I'm gonna turn that on oh let me just type first let's say two and then select the two and then I'm gonna click this there you go okay and then just click outside so same with the superscript so let me just create another text here text to and then I will select this and then I can select here superscript just like that and then so let's say for example you already type your text as small letters small letters to big letters okay so I'm gonna click outside I'm just gonna drag that to this side here. By the way, you can still uh, compress it by clicking that blue dot. So it will cause your text or your sentence or your paragraph to compress, okay? And then you also have this icon here to rotate your text. You can just drag that uh, like that. Now let's say for example, you want this small letters to become big letters. So instead of pre-typing it, so you can just again select all of this, double click to go inside the text, and then uh, control A to select all the text, and then you have this option here, all caps. You click that, there you go, right? So you can click that icon to make it all caps or small letters. And then you also have this uh, bullets. Okay, so list bullets, numbers, uppercase letters, and lowercase letters. And then you also have decrease indent here and 
uh, increase in that so you can just simply explore this if you have time so at least you know there is this type of option in Revit text okay and then I'll just make it capital and then just click outside to terminate and then modify now if you want to create your own text style so just select again the text so let's say you want different uh, font style and then you want uh, uh, one inch okay so you can select edit type here to open up the type properties you can duplicate that okay so let me just type one inch so let's say I want this to be comic sense okay and then you can change the color here so let's say I want that red you can specify the line weight you can specify the background here if you want that to be opaque or transparent and then you can also specify here the border the border offset and then the type of uh, arrowhead when you place your leader you can change the arrowhead type here so for the font so let's say I want comic sans uh, size one inch okay and you want to make it bold let's say for example and then you also have another option here to make it italic underline every time you use this textile and then you can specify the width factor and then okay there you go so you just created your own textile so you can now try it again here there you go okay so one inch text okay and then just select your modify right okay so let's try to put annotation here so let's say I'm just gonna select all of this text and then delete I'll select the text use uh, one fourth okay so let's type it here okay so before I place the text I'm gonna use here this one two segments so I can put two segments click that one so so let's say I'm gonna pick here one two and there's your second segment so let's type here so let's say this is my exterior overhead canopy C structural sheets for individual or for let's say additional information or details like that and then just click outside there you go and then again I can select modify here you can click that you can compress it like that and then let's change the alignment of my leader to top right and then I want that to be at the middle align and then align right like that okay there you go so if I want to change this arrows uh, arrow head just click edit type and then let's change the arrow hair arrow head to let's say how uh, about field 30 degree there you go and then I'll select your OK and there you go all right so basically that's how you add your text it's very simple tool so you can explore it yourself when you have time okay so thank you for watching guys have a nice day